Hello and welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're new. Not what I meant to say. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Autumn and today I'm doing some Halloween decor hunting. I went out about three weeks ago for my first time this year and the only places that really had stuff out was Bath and Body Works and Home Goods, but I know more places have been getting stuff, so today I am going to try Michael's, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Joanne, and we might try Tuesday morning in Dollar Tree, or I might save that until maybe like a couple weeks from now. I'm going to take you along with me in the stores. I'm gonna voice over some footage I take in there so you can see what they have, and maybe I'll get some cool stuff. I'm gonna do a haul uh, soon. Anyway, uh, enough rambling. Let's go. So while I'm driving to get a Baja Blast. I figured I'd tell you a little bit about what's going on in my life right now. So we got a dog. She is super cute. I want to make a video about her and the process and everything. It's been a thing. <laughs> this is my first dog that I've had in my adult life that's like mine. I've had dogs pretty much my whole life, um, but not since like moving out of my parents' house. And this is my husband's first dog ever. He's only had cats his whole life. So we are learning to be doggy parents together. <laughs> but um, it's going good. She's she's really good and she's really, really sweet. She just loves to like lay on us and lick us a lot. <laughs> Got her from a local shelter here. And yeah, anyway, I will uh, probably do a video on her. My Grandma has been dealing with some health issues. I don't know, I made a like video a couple months ago talking about it and I never ended up uploading it because it's just, yeah. It wasn't just talking about that, it was like a get ready with me where I was just talking about my life and stuff. And uh, that's one of the things I talked about but I never ended up uploading it so I don't remember if I've mentioned it other than that but she's been like in and out of the hospital, so. Then, <laughs> recently, there's a fire up there that came very close to where she lives, which is my hometown. And so she had to evacuate, and because we got the new dog and everything, and my parents have more space, her and my uncle who live there, um, went to my parents' house when they evacuated. My parents got COVID. My grandma ended up in the house with them. Thankfully, it seems my grandma did not get COVID somehow. Um, this totally matches my hair because my hair is super faded and needs to be re-dyed pretty badly. But, uh, I guess for now, I just, I have Baja Blast hair. <laughs> oh, and I'm still having my own health issues, physically and mentally, it's pretty bad right now. I just actually got finished with a doctor's appointment, so I'm still waiting to see a specialist for a couple things, and yeah, I don't know, really stressful. But, so that's pretty much a summary of what is going on in my life right now. But that's enough of that. Let's get back to the good stuff, back to the Halloween decor. I don't want to spend a ton of money today because, uh, you know, I don't want to spend a ton of money. But also, uh, I'm hoping in a few weeks to also check out like Walmart and Target and Ross and stuff like that. Uh, I did go to my local Ross a couple weeks ago and they didn't have anything. So I also went to Marshall's and they didn't have anything. The first stop we are making today is Home Goods. There is a parking spot right up front. So I'm gonna go in Home Goods now and I will show you what's in there. So this is the area when you first walk in my Home Goods. They had like two displays here. One with this kind of Halloween theme, a lot of like ghosts and pumpkins and stuff, and the other one was kind of more of a dark 
I hesitate to say witchy, but kind of ish <laughs> theme. It was like blacks and purples and stuff like that, more like mystical, I guess. Um, but this one had a lot of like kind of vintage esque stuff on it. It's um, pretty cute. Got a yoga skeleton there. You could kind of catch a glimpse of the other display, but I don't think I show it until later. But here's like the main decor section at my home goods. A lot of stuff in there. It was super packed. My home goods does not usually have this much stuff um, for Halloween. Couldn't think of what I was trying to say there. <laughs> That's kind of the more big stuff. And they had a lot of Joanna Parker this year. I really like the Joanna Parker stuff. It's one of my favorite, like, vibes. Yeah, here's the more, like, kind of purples and blacks display. Um, some glass stuff. Sorry about the, like, kind of uh, abrupt cuts. I... <laughs> don't really know what happened there. I kept like pausing the video because people would kind of get in my way and it ended up making it look like super jumpy. This glass was so unstable. It was like coming off the thing. But here's some kitchen stuff. I don't love how Home Goods just has all of the like seasonal stuff spread throughout the store but on the other hand I do kind of like it because it's like you get more surprises when you go down different aisles but I'd also kind of prefer for it to all be together just so I'm not like missing anything but here's kind of the kitchen aisle I have a lot of like jars and mugs and stuff like that here They had a couple, like, Day of the Dead things, but not a lot. It was mostly, like, Halloween stuff. A lot of Ray Dunn this year. I don't know if they ordered more or what, but there was so much Ray Dunn this year that I've seen so far. I don't really have a whole lot to say about this stuff. Um, I tried this year to show things more slowly, more in depth than last year. I felt like I was kind of rushed last year, but this year I'm really trying to like take my time with that. So if, you know, you get tired of seeing <laughs> stuff, you can speed up the video or skip to different parts. I do not mind whatever you want to do or you know, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. But I hope you uh, enjoy. <laughs> Here are some tablecloths. I don't love the, like, metallic. I wish it was just black and white rather than, like, a silvery aspect to it. But mm, it's still nice. Not a huge selection of tablecloths. And the placemats are always a disaster at my home goods, so couldn't really get in to see those very well, but they had a very minimal selection of uh, Halloween placemats anyway, so not a ton to see. And I do kind of appear to be leaving stuff a little bit messier, but I promise I fixed it all. Like when I was done filming, it was just kind of hard to put it back properly while I was holding my phone to record. I thought those plates were really cool. I don't really have like spooky dishware, but if I did, I'd probably buy some of these plates. I get really overwhelmed with those like metal displays because I feel like I have to look at everything just in case. And it's right in the middle of the aisle, there's people walking around and they always just put a bunch of stuff on there. So I don't know, is it just me? <laughs> And I also really like these baking sets they had this year. Like, there's some pink ones and some spiderweb ones. 
I almost grabbed a spiderweb one, but I didn't, and I'm still kind of debating if I want to go back and see if they have more, but I'm not going to, I don't think. Here's kind of the more, like, kitchen-specific, like, baking stuff. And more of the, like, baking stuff. I keep hoping they'll have the Nordic Ware pan that I passed up on last year, but they don't seem to have it this year, and it makes me sad. <laughs> I regret all the time not getting that. Um, it was like a skull cakelet pan, I think is what they're called. And these candles were super bent. Uh, all of them were like that. There were like five different ones there that were all the same thing, and they were all bent like that. I don't know what happened, but... I have some uh, more kitchen stuff, <laughs> some bottle openers, some stuff like that, coasters, travel cups, soap pumps. I have about a billion soap pumps at home. <laughs> And the dish towels, I really regret not getting the, like, kind of vintage -y pumpkin dish towels from my last video. I'm looking for them here because I really liked those and I didn't even really see them until I went back and watched my video. And I was like, what are those? Like, I should have got those. And then I went back the next day and they didn't have them. So that was pretty sad. <laughs> But they're, I think, Cynthia Rowley, and there's a blanket that has the same pattern, but I haven't been able to find either of them. So, we're still on dish towels here. These are more, like, kitchen-specific ones that hang on your oven door. And oven mitts. This was my favorite. I like the little bear trick-or-treating. And some glass jars. I also tried this year to show some prices of things, like just for this example, it's $4.99. I don't know if Home Goods has like the same prices. I f feel like they're probably different throughout. Um, I think it's only in the US, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I think it's generally at least similar prices, so I tried to show some of the prices on things. But I definitely didn't show the prices for everything. And the dog toys, like I mentioned earlier in the video, we recently got a dog, so I'm trying so hard not to buy all of these spooky dog toys. <laughs> I have already gotten her a lot of toys, and I just, every time I see, like, ghost ones or something, I just want to buy them. But she rips up the, like, fabric-y toys so fast, <laughs> so I'm trying not to get her a bunch of those, but they're just so cute, I want them all. And here we have more soap pumps. Uh, the dog one there was my favorite of the year. I saw that on a Facebook group and I was hunting for it, so I found it and that was good. But now I also saw another one. It's like a black dog that's like a ghost. And it's similar to the other dog one. But my dog that I got is a black dog and it looks like her but like with a sheet over it like a ghost. And now I really want that one. But I can't find it anywhere, so at least I found that dog one. And then we get into pillows, which none of them were really my thing this year. Uh, a couple of them were cool, but like didn't really match my color scheme that I have going on for my bedroom or my living room. And those are really the only places that I put throw pillows, <laughs> so... I only ended up with a couple pillows this year, and then they had almost no blankets <laughs> when I went this time, but, uh, spoiler alert for the next couple of Halloween hunts, they had a ton of blankets, but this time they didn't really have any, except for those few that I just showed. And they had those cool storage boxes, and then this is by the checkout, the random little displays they have there. And they put some mugs there. Lots of Ray Dunn or like Ray Dunn copycat type stuff. And 
yeah, and then we get into the hand towels that are by the checkout, and once again, I am looking for the hand towels that I passed up last time, and they were not there, so that was sad, but more just checkout stuff. There was a ton of stuff over here. I probably missed some things that I would have gotten, but I just couldn't look through it all. And that's pretty much it for my home goods. I just left home goods and I am sweating off all of my makeup. It is 100 degrees out. Anyway, they had a ton in home goods, as you will see from the clips that I'm inserting or that you've already seen. Don't know how I'm doing this yet like way more than I expected. It was very overwhelming. I'm trying not to spend a lot of money. So that was hard. I definitely didn't get some of the stuff that I wanted. I am headed to TJ Maxx now. I'm going to do TJ Maxx, then Michael's, and then Joanne. And I don't know if I'll have it in me to do any other stores for the day because even just home goods just was a lot more than I anticipated. Every year I typically really like the stuff that Michaels has and Joanne. Um, I, side note, I want to call it Joanne's, but it's just Joanne. There's no S. And it just like feels wrong. Pulling into TJ Maxx here. I hate to say hopefully they won't have a lot of good stuff, but hopefully they won't have a lot of good stuff. I don't need to spend that kind of money right now. Wish me luck. <laughs> Alright, so we've moved on to TJ Maxx now, and we're starting off with the pillows. And they had better pillows, I think, than home goods for what I was looking for, but still not anything spectacular. I just now realized that that ghost pillow was there. And I should have grabbed it because I wanted that, but I totally skipped over it somehow when I was there. And now, uh, I don't think it's there anymore. <laughs> so, whoops. But we have a lot of the same stuff at Home Goods. The uh, TJ Maxx and Home Goods and Marshalls are all owned by the same company, if you're not aware. So they carry a lot of the same stuff. So my TJ Maxx and Home Goods have some overlap for sure, but they are actually usually pretty different. Like none of this green stuff was at my Home Goods, and a lot of the decor is actually fairly different. So it's still worth uh, checking out both, and mine are fairly close together. So I just usually if I go to one, I go to the other. But this is their little kind of decor section, and I love that second shelf down, like pretty much everything on it, almost. <laughs> and the cups. This one was my favorite, this Ouija cup. It is $12.99, which is a little bit more than I would like to spend on something like that, but... It's not, like, outrageous, <laughs> in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe it is. Who knows? <laughs> and some stuff. I don't exactly know what that is. Planters, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> and their blankets, they mostly just had peanuts blankets, which is not my thing, but... If that's your thing, then cool. They had a lot of them this year. <laughs> and coasters. I like these little succulents. I tried to do my bathroom green and black for the longest time, but I just could not find enough stuff that was like green with white and or black on it. And so I kind of just gave up on that and changed it to orange and black. But then this year I found a lot more stuff that had, like, green on it, so I'm not gonna switch back, but I'm like, what the hell, man? <laughs> I 
And the handheld selection here was not as big as home goods, but wasn't nothing. And once again, because they carry a lot of the same stuff, I am specifically looking for the hand towels that I passed up on before accidentally, and they did not have them either. So I actually have not found them at all this year, and I've been to Home Goods and TJ Maxx like five times each. <laughs> so it's sad, but maybe I will find them someday. And those were the shower curtains that I just showed. And then here they just had a few more blankets. The one with the spiders and then the brown one with the dogs were both like super stretchy and soft. Sorry if my phone vibrating just made noise. I'm not sure if it did or not, but my phone just vibrated. <laughs> and random acorn but this is a big display they have there they didn't have any queen size sheets but I did find these really cool kind of uh, like Ouija tarot sheets that I really liked, but I have a queen bed and they did not have it in that size. And there's a lot of stuff on this little display, <laughs> so hopefully you can see everything on there. Then they have a little candle stand and some pajama stuff, loungewear. Then these aprons, and just a few mugs, kind of lacking in the mug section at my TJ Maxx this year, but they did have some. And then I kind of whip around to check a price of something, <laughs> $4.99 on that mug. So I just got done with TJ Maxx. Uh, face is all red. It is very hot out. They had like this big display and then like a couple things scattered throughout the aisles. Not a ton, which I am glad about because that saved me money. Overall, not overwhelming like home goods. It was just okay. I am off to Michael's, which is just up the street here. I have Home Goods and then TJ Maxx and then Michael's and then like around the corner and down the street is Joanne. So kind of in like a square of the places I'm going today. Still unsure about Tuesday morning and Dollar Tree. I'm thinking I might skip them for now. So I just got to Michael's. Um, I will go in and show you what they have. So I was actually fairly disappointed with Michael's this year, sadly. I did like some of the stuff they had, but they added this like blue teal-ish color to a lot of their stuff, which I do like, but it doesn't go with anything of mine. <laughs> I like the color on its own, but I have themes like orange and black in my kitchen and bathroom and dark purples and blues with black and white in my living room and my bedroom is red and black and white. So like the teal just didn't really fit in anywhere. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of it. <laughs> so it's kind of a bust for me this year with Michaels, which is really sad. But they did also have some cool stuff too, but it wasn't anything amazing. I do think last year their stuff was better for my personal tastes, but I do know some people really like the stuff this year. 
it kind of combines a vintage feel and a I can't think of the word I'm looking for like a um not retro but like kind of like 60s 50s to 70s feel <laughs> I can't think of the word but then they just had some of their usual little spooky town stuff here I own one spooky down piece that's a little bathtub that I bought for my bathroom but other than that I don't have anything for this that's so not really my thing but um, if you have anything from spooky down I'd be curious to know what you have because it is pretty cool I think but I just don't really have the space for it and then they had this kind of like romantic Victorian-ish <laughs> uh, collection with some pink too, like pinks and reds and stuff. It's pretty neat. I'm just now in the process of switching my bedroom over to the red theme, so I hadn't come to that conclusion yet when I uh, went to Michael's, but now I have, and I think I might go back and see if they have some of the stuff still so I can grab it from my bedroom. But there was some cool stuff in there. And then this is a, a kind of a more earthy tone section, which I, again, really like some of the stuff here, but I go for more stark blacks and whites and stuff, so it doesn't really fit with my stuff. And I could paint some of it, but... It's not really worth it for a lot of it for me to paint, but it's still really cool stuff, I think. And then they had their usual, like, wreath stuff. thought that cloche was pretty cool. And then some papers I couldn't really get a good shot of. And then, like, craft stuff. Alright, so I just finished with Michael's. And I'm conflicted because I do love a lot of the stuff in there, but it doesn't match my color scheme. And it's not like, I don't want to just paint that stuff. Um, I feel like I could find similar things um, elsewhere or online that are already in my color scheme, so I don't want to, like, spend the money and paint it and stuff. I did get two things that I really loved. There were a few things, too, that did match and that I thought I could use, but they aren't doing 40% off on their stuff yet for Halloween. So I didn't want to get a bunch of stuff. I just got a couple things that I thought might be gone uh, by the time they start doing that. They were still setting up their Halloween stuff while I was in there. Um, so it's not all out yet, but they did have a good amount. I really wish that some of it was like more my colors because I love Michael's vintage Halloween line every year. Like they always do some sort of vintage Halloween. I, I don't know, I just really love vintage Halloween stuff. What's your favorite style of Halloween? Is it like the more cartoony, more like Disney stuff, vintage, um, the more like not Halloween but more like goth kind of decor? I really like the like witchy stuff and the more like romantic goth stuff and the vintage Halloween. Those are my three favorites. I do get a couple cartoony things every year, um, and I work it in, but I mostly like vintage and like goth style, goth-esque, and then um, the I just said what it I just said what the other one was. What is this? Uh, 
witchy. The witchy aesthetic stuff. I just got to Joanne. No S. Joanne. So I'm going to go in there and I forgot I have to stop at Petco to return some puppy pads for our dog because we weren't sure if she was house trained. Um, turns out she is, but we got those just in case. Alright, I'm gonna go in Joanne, so I will talk to you again in the voiceover in the clips I'm about to show, but for right now I will talk to you again when I get out. Also there was someone trying to talk to me in Michael's and they were like very sweet and made conversation, um, but I just am so awkward, I don't know how to socialize with people. So I think I came off as like standoffish and I feel really terrible about it. There's like zero chance that they're watching this, uh, but uh, I mean, if you are, sorry, <laughs> but I just feel really bad. They were really nice and I kind of feel like I looked like a bitch. I don't know. I tried, but I just have really bad social anxiety. <laughs> so I'm probably going to feel bad about that for the rest of the day. But, um, yeah. Alright, last store of the day is Joanne. Joanne Fabrics is what it's technically called, but I'm just gonna call it Joanne's. I don't know. <laughs> but this is all their, like, earrings and pendants and charms. There were a couple that I was hoping to see in there that they didn't have, but they have them online, so I'll probably get them there. And then they're more outdoor stuff. I don't have a yard, so I don't get any of the outdoor stuff unless it can also be kind of indoor decoration and I like it, but generally I skip the outdoor stuff. And some cool little haunted houses. I like the print of that that I just showed, the like jack-o'-lantern one. I think that's pretty cool and they had that on a lot of stuff this year. And Joanne's is like super overpriced. You can see um, the like 40% off things there, which I mentioned later is like a scam. <laughs> but yeah, like you can see some of the prices on things, hopefully, and it's just ridiculous. But they have really cute stuff every year. Like, I hate going in there because I know that I'm gonna want a bunch of stuff, but it's just so overpriced. And those are their signs, a little wall hangings, and pumpkins, a lot of pattern pumpkins, which is cool. A lot of skull and skeleton stuff here. And ornaments. I have never had a Christmas tree. <laughs> I don't know if that's weird, but I've never had one. Um, I'd have a few ornaments anyway, but yeah, never had a Christmas tree. And those were some of my favorite things in Joann's this year, the like web bowls and the cake stands and stuff. I really like those. So we're into the like kitchen stuff here, obviously, like mugs and plates and stuff, serving bowls. And then carnet of party stuff. This is like their Halloween themed aisle, so they have uh, more like party stuff and more kitchen stuff in a different aisle, which I will get to in a bit. But for their Halloween stuff, this is what they had. And then the doormats. I really liked this candle holder. And here I kind of just show the ridiculousness of their prices. Like, this plate is $25. Uh, like, standard price, not on sale. And this one is $12.99. The little... That ghost was so small, and it was $12.99. But the 40% off makes it not as bad. But, like, come on. <laughs> then some of the fabrics, they didn't really have a ton of them out in my store yet, but that's what they had. And then this is all their kind of like do-it-yourself stuff. And they always have this aisle of like skeletons and stuff. I've never seen one of these skeletons in black. 
the bat one. I see those every year, like everywhere, the bat skeletons, but I've never actually seen it in black until this year at Joanne's, and I thought that was really cool. And then here's more of the, like, party stuff and kitchen stuff in their, like, mystic, Ouija, witchy, fortune, whatever theme, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I like a lot of this stuff. It is like the theme of my living room is like this kind of stuff so more floor mats i don't know why they're over there but they are and my camera kept zooming in and out sorry about that <laughs> i like that bat light i think that's pretty cool then they have these big signs I think they go outside like your front door. I mean, you can put them anywhere, but I think that's where they're like meant to go, but living in an apartment, I'm not supposed to put anything there. <laughs> and then they're floral and wreath stuff. These roses had orange underneath. And I love these boxes every year at Joann's. They have such cool little storage boxes. I get them for everywhere. <laughs> My bathroom, my kitchen, my closet, all kinds of stuff. And then more like outdoor stuff. You can use it indoors, but it's, I think, meant for outdoors. It's very big. <laughs> and this tree was interesting. It was like $90, I think it said, uh, before any discounts. And then we have the baking stuff. Lots of little like cupcake liners and like spatulas and stuff. <laughs> Alright, just leaving Joanne's. As I feared, they had a lot of neat stuff in there. <laughs> I wanted it all. They were doing the whole like 40% off thing, which it's not really 40% off. I mean, they're so overpriced to begin with that it's basically just bringing it down to a normal, reasonable price. Those 40% off things are like such a scam, but whatever. I am gonna have a pretty decently sized haul to film soon here. So I'm over my budget for spending. But uh, we're just gonna ignore that. We're gonna ignore my bad decisions today. And we are going to be happy that Halloween is out and there's lots of nice stuff. Whew, super hot. Oh my God, I never went to Petco. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna do it tomorrow. I think that is it for this video. What kind of format do you prefer for this kind of video? Um, do you like just me talking about stuff afterwards or the voiceover or both? Or what do you prefer? Because I'm not sure exactly what format I want to keep yet. I feel like I'm talking a lot and like you must be really sick of my voice by the end of this video, but maybe that's just because I'm insecure. <laughs> I don't know. If you did like, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you are interested in seeing other videos from me. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. I hope that you did enjoy and once again let me know what your local stores have for like Halloween or if you even like Halloween shopping or anything. Uh, just chat with me down below about all things Halloween. Whatever you want to say I will respond and <laughs> yeah so again thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day bye